Welcome back to Davos. Well, one group of people that the World Economic Forum is interested in bringing to its annual meeting in ever greater numbers are social entrepreneurs. Well, what are they? They're people who are working in an entrepreneurial way, but for the public or social good, but not for profit. Take International Bridges to Justice. Now, that's based in Geneva, Switzerland, and it's dedicated to bringing fairer, strong, independent judicial systems to such countries as uh, China, Vietnam, and India. So, what is the connection with the corporate world? Um, earlier, I was joined by IBJ's founder and CEO, Karen Chu. I asked her what her NGA does that is of interest to companies. International Bridges to Justice acts as a catalyst for rule of law projects throughout the world. Basically what we're interested in doing is helping countries implement their own domestic criminal laws that are consistent with human rights. Now this is of great interest to companies because in every area, in every country where companies are working, they're looking for a stable society. The rule of law is the bedrock of a stable society. Without it, you, you know, you, you really, it's the first step. Our companies, I mean, clearly that's yes. a nice proposition. Yes, yes they need a, a good judicial system, yes. but are companies really interested in supporting organizations like yours? I think increasingly companies are interested because they realize that it's not, um, it's not a short-term proposition for them. If they're really interested in being in a country for the long term, it's like soil. You can place something in bad soil, but if you really want it to take root, you have to have the correct infrastructure, which is like the rule of law. But soil is, soil is, soil is, it is like soil because there's is. an awful lot of soil. I mean, yes. if you wanted to replace yes. and put new soil in somewhere, that's an awful lot of earth that you've got to dig. Yes. And in the same way, building up systems in a country like China is a vast undertaking and companies going to say that's more than we can start, start taking on, isn't it? Well, I think that companies are particularly poised in this way because if you look traditionally at the work of companies, they're able to see long-term projects and be very pragmatic about building it up piece by piece, step by step. And this is exactly what's needed right now in terms of building the rule of law. But how does a, company, a country like China yes. feel about having a strong, independent judicial yes. system which is partly financed by companies which are coming in from overseas, which are foreigners? Well, I think if you look at most countries, not only China, but most countries that are really joining the world and joining the world movement, they're really looking towards being part of a greater process. And in that way, they're welcoming, very, very welcoming, towards companies coming in and supporting them in building and supporting their own local communities where they're working. But an independent judiciary, that's something which is very difficult in, in a state like China or Vietnam, isn't it? I don't think it's that difficult. I mean, if you look at but it... But it ought not to be, but it, it not, is, isn't it? It, it ought not to be, <laughs> and it is, but it's, it's, you know, it may be a long road, but it's an implementable road, and I think that's what's exciting about it right now. The pieces to building a torture-free society, to building a society where there really is rule of law, is possible in countries that have passed these laws, and in most countries in the world, they have passed them. The gap is in the implementation, and that implementation is where companies are very strong. Karen Chur, the uh, founder and CEO of International Bridges to Justice. We're coming up on World Business Today. Beach Bonanza, how a stormy incident in southwestern England had some scrounging freebies.